What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. I am Steven Stefan, and we are back uh, in Vinewood tonight. We're doing a graveyard shift, 12.59, just hit 1 a.m. Uh, so we'll uh, patrol for a couple hours here, and uh, we're going to be looking for anybody uh, that is up to no good late at night, uh, possibly some intoxicated drivers, as well as... Uh, taking any calls that we get so uh let's see what we can get into come along for the ride we're responding to a domestic disturbance uh from a uh t possible tenant and a landlord it's over here at the apartment building so let's see what's going on 148 show us on scene let's see what's going on That's not good. All right. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. 148. It's uh two two male subjects seem to be arguing outside of an apartment complex. Stand by. What's up, guys? I'm Officer Stefan with the LSPD. Jesus. Calm down, okay? Explain your situation. Officer, there's a real crime here. This man will not pay his rent. Okay, can I uh, show your... Can I uh, see some any, any documentation of evicting him? I've got the details right here. Hi, darling. Okay. What's that? Let's calm down for a minute, okay? This is stupid, man. All right. Please explain the situation you see it. I pay my rent. I have. Why should I be evicted today? Well, are you able to provide evidence? Uh, I don't have to do that. Yes, you do, sir. I want you to remove this trespasser from my property. Okay, 10 4. Give me a minute. All right. All right, first of all, uh, let's separate you two, okay? Give me, just give me one second. All right. Come over here, okay? I, I want to have a chat with you, okay? Just come over here. We're going to walk, we're going to head over here, okay? Let's just have a talk, okay? All right, explain the situation. I paid my rent. Why should I be evicted today? Okay, do you have evidence that you've paid your rent? I don't have to do that. Okay. If the landlord has a valid court order, you have to leave the property. Great. Thanks for the help. You got your ID on you? Cocky Renell. Okay. Give me one second, okay? 148. Can I get a 1028 on a cocky K A W I K I Rennell R A N N E L L. All right, he's valid. No active warrants. Okay. All right, sir. Here's the deal. Um, I'm gonna get take a statement from you, okay? And I'm gonna talk to him real quick. So you can take your statement. This will all go in uh, in court. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, sir. Just sit tight, okay? How's it going, man? Officer, there's real crime here. This man will not pay his rent. Okay. Can I see the documentation one more time? I've got the details right here. Okay. Let me see them. Okay. Well, what do you want? Do you want him removed? Okay. All right. You got your ID on you, bud? Mike Richardson. Okay. 148, Paul. Can I get a 1028 on a Mike Richardson? 
Common spelling. 216-1985. Inspired. Okay. All right, sir. I'm going to take a statement with you. I'm going to ask him to leave the area, okay? Um, so you guys both have statements. Uh, if, if he comes back, you can evict him, okay? Thanks, sir. All right, sit tight, okay? All right, Mr. Rennell. Um, he wants you removed from the property, okay? I have no proof that you paid your rent. You have uh, until Tuesday to to pay your rent um, or you'll be evicted, all right? Until then, uh, you, you need to leave the area, okay? But this is where I live. I'm not leaving. Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time. You need to leave the area or I'm going to remove you from the area, okay? I live here and I'm not going anywhere. All right. I'll ask you one more time, okay? You need to leave the area. I'm not leaving. Okay. I'm going to ask you to go, okay? One more time. Or else uh, you're oh, going to be arrested. Fuck. All right. 148, Paul. Uh, the tenant has left the area. All right, sir. He's left the area. I've told him he has until Tuesday to pay rent. If not, he can be evicted, okay? Uh, if he comes back, make sure to call us, all right? Have a, have a good night, okay? Jesus. Well, that was uh, that was resolved peacefully. Uh, we showed up on scene. The landlord and the tenant were arguing. Um, the obviously the uh, the tenant didn't want to leave, but uh, he did wind up leaving, and the landlord wound up uh, leaving as well. So he has until Tuesday to pay his rent. And um, if he doesn't pay his rent, he's going to be evicted. Simple as that. But uh, this one ended peacefully. We'll be back clear off this call and back 10 -8. Officers report a suspect resisting arrest on a uh, power street. Dispatch, perfect sight. 148 Charleston uh, route. Copy. We'll check it out. We've got a uh, pursuit in progress. We are responding to right now code three. Uh, I'm not sure the details. We just know that it is uh, in progress. We're gonna try to catch up to it. It's up here on Power Street. Forty-eight, Paul. We've got eyes on the vehicle. It's going to be a black sports car. Looked to be occupied two times. It's going to be uh, traveling northbound on Carson Avenue. Speeds of 80 miles per hour. Traffic is currently light. It is a black sports car. Uh, we're going to be taking a left on Innocence Boulevard. He just uh, stopped. Still going here. All right, he's coming to a stop. He's coming to a stop. We're going to get him out of gunpoint. Driver of the vehicle. Driver of the vehicle. Hands where I can see them. Get out of the car. Out of the car. Out of the car now. All the way in the, all the, way in the ground. All the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. Don't move. Do not move. Stay right there. Face on the ground. 148, Paul. He's giving up. We got him at gunpoint. 
148 Paul, suspect is in custody. Sit tight, okay? You have anything illegal on you, buddy? Perhaps I have some. Okay. All right, you got anything that'll cut me, poke me, stick me? Okay. You want to pat him down? See what's on him? A bag of meth. Okay. Alan Carter. All right. Come here, man. We're going to come over here. You been drinking tonight, sir? Alcohol's not good for my health. Okay, have you done done any drugs tonight? Yes, you do. What are, what are you doing anyway? You need some fresh air. Okay. Anything in that vehicle I need to know about? I don't consent to a search. Well, that doesn't matter because you're under arrest, okay? You consent to a drug swab? I'm going to be sick. Call an ambulance. All right. Sit tight, okay? 148 Paul we got a uh, male subject in custody gonna search vehicle now machete baseball okay, no All right. make sure the car is uh, 148 can I get a uh, 1029 it's gonna be on an LG 2 license plates gonna be 01 Henry Union Zebra 547 Henry Union Zebra 547 okay. no 1099 All right 148 Paul Requesting a tow truck for that vehicle Oh shit Tow truck backup required on um Innocence Boulevard How do I get out of this? There we go All right so he has a bag of meth on him um we don't know exactly what else is going on, but uh, he is going to go to jail. Tow truck's here to pick his vehicle up. We're going to put him in the rear seat and do his report real quick. Right now, he's being charged with uh, felony eluding. Get back in the car. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, so right now he is, uh, he's just being charged with, uh, felony eluding. He did give up. So I'll give him that. We're gonna, we're gonna pull over here and do an arrest report Citizens on him. Report, a robbery at Strawberry 24 we're not be able to take that. Respond code three. So Alan Carter, he is valid. Uh, he does have a warrant for carjacking. So he's gonna get arrested for his warrant. Um, leaving the Stephen accident, Grand Theft firearm driving the wrong way pre present during a riot so he has not had a good life and uh, hopefully he can get back on track here um he is going to get evading the rest and reckless driving for uh his trouble tonight he's also going to get a warrant for his arrest as well as drug possession of methamphetamines so that's going to be his uh all his charges tonight those are his three charge. Those are all his charges, and uh, we will get a prisoner transport unit to pick him up. Um, but that could have been bad. Anytime you join a pursuit, uh, but he did give up. He decided uh, it was smarter for him to just go ahead and give up, and uh, he'll be going to jail for all those charges had a baggie of meth they'll do a blood test uh, when they get him to jail and they'll do a thorough search of his person and he'll be charged with anything else that they find at the jail but uh, we were able to get him off the street so that is uh, a good thing and uh, we're going to be code 4 and we'll be back 10-8 we're en route to a uh We're en route to a pedestrian struck by a vehicle call right here. It looks to be uh, right here on the corner. We got a male subject down. 148, Paul. Go ahead and show me on scene.
What's going on, man? Can you tell me what happened? I was driving along. You just appeared in front of the car from nowhere. Were you driving the vehicle? Have you had any alcohol? I don't even drink alcohol, officer. Okay. All right, you got your ID on you, bud? Jeremy Neff. Okay. Hollis Haynes, I believe, is this. Is the victim. Hey, you fucking blind asshole. 148, can I get a, uh... 1026... I think Hollis Hayne is going to be the guy here. Yep. Alright. Our thing. Okay. 148, can I get a uh, ambulance uh, to our location, please? Ambulance. Backup required on uh, Is that your car over McDonald's there? Street. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go check the vehicle out here for any. Let's go check the vehicle out here. Our thing. One forty-eight. Can I get a uh, plate check? It's gonna be on an Astro Rope Two Five Union Zebra Frank Five Six Two. Plate. Two five Union Zebra Frank. There's no five, registration six, on the vehicle. Two, a traffic violation. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. That's quite a bit of damage on the left, on the right front of this vehicle. So he definitely, uh, he hey, definitely clobbered this poor person. All right, they are going to be alive. So that's huge. We're going to come back over. All right, so he is alive, and he will go to the hospital, uh, get checked out. Thank you, paramedic. We're going to talk to this guy right here. Oh, All right, let's see if I can get his uh, Jeremy Neff. He survived. Okay. Hollis Haynes is going to be the uh, possible possible subject here. We're going to observe him. Just make sure he's doesn't look under the intoxicated here. All right. All right, Hollis, sit tight for me, okay? Hollis Haynes, he is active. He has no active warrants. His license is up to date, but he is, uh, he's in trouble because I smell alcohol. So we're going to give him a field sobriety test and go from there. Stand by. All right, Hollis. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? Of course. I need to warm my body. Okay. Do you have anything illegal on you? I don't want to go to jail. All right. All right, sir, here's the deal. I'm going to run some field sobriety tests, okay? No need. I'm totally fine. See? No, sir. Not the case. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a horizontal gaze, okay? I'm just going to hold this pencil out. You're going to follow it with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Don't move your head. Just follow with your eyes. Okay. Yeah, all right, he passed that. Interesting. All right. All right, Hollis, next thing, next thing we're going to do, it's All called right. the walk and turn, okay? Gift lob. I'm going to walk this way. Thank I'm going to take nine steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right. nine, okay? Then you're going to turn back around and nine steps back. So you can start Thank from you. here, okay? No, not her. <laughs> I just got a random random lady off the street doing a sobriety test. This is awesome. She passed, obviously. 
Hollis is the one I want. All right, Hollis. Here's the deal. Here's Hi. the deal. We're gonna do a walk and turn, okay? I feel like I do a movie. Just what is right. going on? Can you please move down, for me, ma'am? We're me. we're trying to do a field sobriety Thank test you. here, okay? All right. Let's see. Let's see him uh, him do this. He looks like he is possibly intoxicated. So right now he is uh, looking at driving under the influence. We'll see. He passed the other test, so okay. All right, sir. Hey, darling, I ain't seen you in forever. All right, sir. Next thing I want you to do is turn around and put your hands behind your back, okay? You have the right to shut the hell up. All right. I want you to put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. You're going to be under arrest for driving under the influence. You're lucky that man uh, is okay. You're very, very lucky he's okay. If he was uh, seriously injured or, or killed, you'd be in really bad shape, okay? You got anything illegal on you? Weapons, guns, knives, drugs. Anything that's going to cut me, poke me, or stick me? Just a postcard, okay. That's fine. All right, is there anything illegal in the vehicle I need to know about? Because I'm going to search it. It's going to get towed, okay? There might be some empty baggies under the seat. I can't recall. All right, sir. I appreciate that. Do you consent to a breathalyzer? Sure, I don't mind. Okay. Turn around for me, okay? I want you to blow into this tube, all right? Just blow into this tube. I want to see how intoxicated you are. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right, sir. All right, sir, you are point, uh, 115. You're way over the legal limit, okay? You're going to be going to jail uh, for driving under the influence as well as... Uh, um, possibly uh, a vehicular... Not manslaughter, but uh, I'll have to see what's in the system for that. All right, so uh, just come with me. Go ahead and put you in the rear seat here. 148, uh, we're gonna have one male subject, 1015. I do remember what happened last time. Gonna need a, uh, gonna need a tow truck to my location. Because that bitch is in jail now. That I'm gonna search the vehicle. He said there might be some baggies under the seat, so we're just gonna check that. And nope, nothing. Okay, good for him. So right now he's uh, he's just going to jail for uh, driving under the influence. We're gonna try to see if we can find a vehicular. Tow truck. Assistance required uh, in Rancho. See if we can find a charge for him. So let's see what we got. And uh, we're gonna go uh, Hollis Haynes. He is valid. He has no active warrants. He has a reckless driving. So we are going to uh, arrest him today. Uh, his traffic is going to be driving while under the influence. Um, he did not leave the scene of an accident. I will give him that. Uh, right now, his nonviolent crimes, I'm looking for this, uh, could be um, you know, I there's really nothing vehicular manslaughter if he killed the guy, but uh, right now, I don't see anything that warrants, you know, I'm going to let him go. Everyone makes mistakes. Um, we'll just get him for the driving under the influence. Uh, he didn't have anything illegal on him, so uh, this vehicle, we're going to find out. Uh, the vehicle was not in his name. Um, it is an Astro Rope, so uh, it was actually not in his name, which is fine. Um, it could be a buddy of his, Matt two, Strong. Five, Union, Zebra, uh, there was also five, no registration, six, and it's two, expired. So we'll figure violation. that out. But um, so he is going to jail for driving under influence. We're going to take him in ourselves because this is going to do it for our patrol, and. Um, it's unfortunate that it come down to to that, but uh, fortunately, 
the man that he hit with his vehicle is going to live. He's going to go to the hospital, and uh, we'll find out if he wants to press charges or not. Um, if not, then he'll just get the driving under the influence charge so that's what's going to happen we're going to go ahead and take him in so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um have been playing a lot of madden lately and uh we'll have highlights of my games coming up there and we are going to be doing uh, some live gaming on twitch as well so make sure to tune into that but um always smash the like button and make sure to subscribe as i upload every monday for lspdfr so until the next one, I'll see you guys later.